I'm going to be sitting in open house at the property which is situated just behind me here today at 1777 8th Avenue Northwest in the community of Hillhurst. Uh, of course, we're just across the street here from West Hillhurst Green Park. I wanted to discuss the fact that this has come out as a new listing with a new pricing. And I heard a statistic recently which said in 2009 in Calgary MLS there was 48% of properties expired. This information was shared with the implication that a lot of the homes that do come to the market simply never sell. Now I think you need to take that information really on a home per home basis and look at the longer story. Of course a lot of those properties that do expire do come out as a new listing and ultimately they do sell. Now for ourselves as realtors, occasionally we need to look at strategically how do we add a new layer of attraction to a property that has been on the market for a little bit. Now this home was on the market for 60 days, which is the minimum number of days you can be on the MLS system before you expire. If you want to come off the market before that, you need to terminate your listing, which is just simply a different status. So to expire a listing and bring it on as a new listing, it can't just be done as a means of say tricking people because of course no one's going to look at that really and say oh here's a new listing because the fact is typically anyone who's looking for a home of this type of home in this area has already been aware that this home has been on the market but the reality is in this situation there has been a little bit of work which has been done to the property which validates bringing it out as a new listing and making a bit of an adjustment on pricing Although this home is a substantial renovation, about 90% has been rented on this property by House Brand Renovation Group. It had just a little bit of work which perhaps needed to be finished off to bring it up to 100%. And for us, it was taking the feedback that we received from people taking a look at the home and saying that they're giving some thought to some of the things that need to be done. Now, I'll often say when a buyer takes a look at some work that needs to be done, it might cost them, say, thousand dollars to do it but on a negotiating price buyers might let that influence their decision on pricing say up to an amount of like five thousand dollars now I'm just making these numbers up but in the reality is sometimes the cost to do the work is going to be a little bit less than actually taking the time to get the work done and it's going to reflect better for a seller ultimately on what the final sell price might be and that's just my feel for it so there are times when doing a little bit of work to bring your property up to that level it's going to benefit you as a seller. Now, if you want more information about those ideas on, say, your own property, please feel free to contact the Ramage Group. We'll be pleased to share some ideas with you. In the meantime, I hope you have a chance to come by and check out this property today, March 19th, Saturday, 2 to 4. And thanks for taking the time to watch.